Let me show you how to make the crispy birria phyllo bum. Check this out. Mm. So here's how you make it. You start out with some wahilo chili peppers and a two pound piece of chuck. So we got wahilo chili peppers and ancho chili and some marita chilies. These are just like chipotle peppers. Now we're gonna take our chili peppers and soften them up. Now you're gonna need a cast iron pan. Fire it up. We're gonna use the Dano Chipotle, that's the maroon top. Sprinkle generously and make sure our chuck is nice and coated. Flip it over and do it again. And now we sear. Been about four minutes, I want y'all to see just how pretty this sear is. Oh my goodness, that's what I'm talking about. That looks Dano Mite. I mean damn good. I mean damn tasty. <laughs> it's not burnt, it's an herb crust. Now our chuck is seared, we're gonna set it to the side. Let's make that sauce. Let's add these chilies into our blender. Now we add half of a red onion. One whole head of garlic. Add your garlic cloves in. Looks like we got a little less than half of our bottle left. We're gonna go on and dump the whole thing in. Now, since I'm out, I guess I'll have to run to the food line and get some more. All right, now it's time to add some juice. We're gonna add the juice of one Corona, about one cup of beef stock, and the juice of a couple big limes. And just give it a squeeze. Also, we're gonna grab a little bit of cilantro and throw that in. Now we fasten our seat belts and we blend. Look how rich and flavorful that is. That's good. And it's not super spicy because I didn't add Arbol chilies this time. Just packed full of flavor. All right, that took me every bit of 20 minutes to get this all prepped. Now we're gonna throw in our chuck roast and we're gonna top it with the sauce. Now we set it to high pressure for one and a half hours. All right, it's time to see what we got. Now you can see this meat is ready to just fall apart. So we're gonna grab the chunks and set them in a bowl. Look at, oh, let's give that a try. Wow, that's phenomenal, and that's a fly. Simply pull out the little bit of fat that you can find, and now we shred this up. That is some good looking meat, flavor packed. I'm telling y'all what, that meat is phenomenal. I can't wait to try this. We're simply gonna drain the big chunks of stuff out and get down to just the juice. Just maneuver some of that stuff around. And that's plenty of juice. We don't need much more than that. We're simply gonna toss this. We're gonna get us a scoop of this juice and keep it nice and juicy. All right, get your cupcake pan and give it a light spray. Now this, my friends, is the magical phyllo dough. It's super thin sheets, paper thin, tissue paper thin sheets of dough. Take one sheet and fold it over just like that. Place it over your cupcake hole and push it down in. Small handful of cheese in the bottom, a nice handful of your meat. Add that in, a little bit of onion, a little bit of cilantro, and some more cheese on top. Simply fold in the edges and pinch it all together and press it down. All right, now for the finishing touch, we're gonna get that fat juice sitting right on the top. Get it nice and saturated. And now we go into our 400 degree oven. I hope you're as excited as I am. All right, it's been exactly 19 minutes. Let's get a bite. You guys, seriously, check that out. Look at how pretty that is. You got this crispy crust on the top. Look at this. You got the cheese. You got your birria meat. Let's give it a dip. Oh, wow. Wow, that is a flavor explosion. You got the crispy dough on there, taking the place of a corn tortilla. I'm gonna give this a 12 out of 10. That's right, you heard me say it. That is phenomenal. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Would you try it like this? Yum, yum, get you some. We'll see you next time. Mmm. Mmm. Goodness.